Ready? Set. Oh, oh yes! Cheers! morning you guys I thought I'd show you minus the bag of trash here look at the sunshine coming in the window oh my goodness it's from that arched window right there this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it we will take it one, one hour at a time and see what it brings. If you were around for the last two vlogs, you may have seen that I have not been feeling well. And yesterday I started two oral antibiotics and um, yeah, we're hoping that they can help kick whatever my body's got going on. And I'm hopeful that today will be easier than yesterday. Yesterday was just probably probably one of the harder days in the last couple of months, which is crazy to say because I've been on the new Vertex Med for 11 weeks. So that's just about three months. And yeah, I'm grateful to say I don't have as many bad days. And um, Yesterday was a pretty rough one. So I'm hopeful that today's gonna to be different. I don't know yet. Uh, so far, it feels like a little less headache than yesterday. I don't really feel any headache right now. And um, yesterday it wasn't, it wasn't really, a, it wasn't like a horrible headache. It was a lot of pressure and um, the headache pain switched from side to side. It was very odd, but I'm hopeful that today is different. I am awake, I'm alive, my head doesn't even hurt, and I'm repping the vintage fry life. So, got that. Good morning, guys. Part of the morning routine is I usually grab Mary, her palmazime out of the fridge and take it up to her while she's doing her vest and miss. Uh, but since uh, there's kind of a clear shot from down here by the front door up to our bedroom right up there, I'm going to see if I can perfect my throw. Oh yeah, there's Mary all the way up there. Okay, I'm going to see if I can perfect my throw from here to the bed. Alright, you ready for this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you guys down. We'll see how this goes. Ready? Set. I got it? Literally right in front of me on the bed. Yes! And, and I bounced it off the door, didn't I? Ooh, I think so. I think it came up, bounced off the door, went on the bed. We did it, Ollie. Ooh. I was downstairs and I heard Mary call for help and it was a rough moment of throw up. Well, we caught it. We, we caught it. Mm -hmm. Um, I had felt like I took my antibiotics and I was like, okay, wow, I'm not nauseous. That's great. That's great. Because I'm going to be on these antibiotics for two weeks. But then as I, I was like doing my best, whatever, and I was like, I'm starting to feel nauseous. So I took Zofran and then I was like feeling more nauseous. So I sat my best, but then I was like, it was like zero to a hundred. And I was like, oh, oh no, oh no. And like, so I started calling for Peter and it all worked out. He got me a towel. The things that happened, happened. But then like immediately after he went back downstairs, my phone was telling me urgent low soon which also makes me nauseous, so I was like, oh, maybe that's what it was, a combination, but whatever, I've treated the low, I'm hopefully not gonna puke again, moving on. Good job. 
thanks for being with me in my time of need. You got it. Teamwork. And as I was puking, I was like hoping it wasn't gonna make you puke. Yeah, no, the Lord gives me grace in those moments. Normally, I'd be really grossed out, but your puke just, it makes me want to love you more. Oh! All right, we made it out of the house today. I've been working on the computer all afternoon. Uh, just a lot of, uh, with our business, uh, transferring things down here to North Carolina, and a lot of paperwork and online things that I've just been taking care of and so Mary was like Are I was you? determined to come out yeah she wanted to get out shopping. to the grocery store and so I turned oh. off work mode and now we're grocery shopping and we're wearing coats because we're in the air conditioning yes. but it's actually really nice outside do you remember this <gasps> yeah I do is that from Scotland no uh, it was just from Aldi but I used you to love, love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the freezer. Okay, we're gonna get some groceries. We're done at the grocery store and I'm sitting here apologizing. I just don't feel good. So. And as I said, there's no need to apologize. We're in this together. And I appreciate that. I just feel bad that I'm like, so, I just do not feel right. Well, your body's clearly fighting and yeah. Okay, we decided to stop and get some dinner and Peter's tasting the sparkling pink lemonade we bought at Aldi. Mm. Is it good? good? It is good. So, I know we've talked about this before, but why pink lemonade? I don't know. I remember we looked it up once. There is a reason. Do you like it or no? That's good. That is good. Um, yeah, we're just waiting for our food to get done. Because but, this girl needs to eat. But we um we have groceries now. Yeah. We even got a turkey breast that Peter's gonna smoke and we wanna have Thanksgiving. Yeah, because why not? Like before Thanksgiving, we want to have Thanksgiving. Yeah, like soon. Because it's so good. I got cranberry sauce. We got we got a whole chicken. I'm gonna try smoking a whole chicken. It's a whole new world. Not like smoking a chicken, but like smoking a chicken. Um, I'm already feeling better now that I'm not walking around. Good. It's almost Ch like my equilibrium's off. Because I like feel hot, like pressure in my head and then when I lay down I feel better but anyway yeah what were you gonna say well while we were in the grocery store Mary goes oh, my purse has never been so uncomfortable <sighs> like you can tell Mary's not feeling good when she's just uncomfortable like things yeah. normal things of life make her uncomfortable like that's how it manifests yeah Mary. like last night trying to go to sleep she was like a squirmy little <laughs> pig in the bed <laughs> Get comfortable. <laughs> and she she tries to like turn upside down and go off. Well, anyways, cheers to that. Mm, so, oh, it's interesting. Yeah, it's got a tart. Oh, it's two percent juice. No way. Yeah. So carbonated water, sugar, citric acid, natural lemon and lime flavor. Ooh. Oh no. Oh. No. Yeah, that's good. Grape skin extract, not grapefruit. I can't uh, have grapefruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grape skin extract. Now that is a new one to me. Esters of wood rosin. What? Esters of wood rosin. It's a stabilizer. But grape skin extract. Oh, that girl's food's done. Ours is probably almost done. But nice. If I haven't mentioned lately, dear Peter, who's editing this, thank you. Thanks for putting up when I don't feel good. Thanks for being ready for adventures when I do feel good. And for all of the in-between. I love you. The papaya that I got 
at Aldi last week took some time to ripen. I googled it and it should be green turning yellow. I'm really hoping that it works out. It kind of looks slightly rotten, but I'm really hoping it's okay. I've just never had papaya. Oh, whoa! Oh, that was way softer than I thought. Look at this, it's like butter. Butter. Okay, moment of truth. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh! It I'm so like frog eggs. Yeah, it looks so weird. Oh my goodness. I've just never seen one in real life. Wow. Ooh, Peter. What? Come here, touch it. <laughs> they I thought these would be hard, but they're really squishy. That is interesting. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try while you're really interesting. I got the maple cream cookies from Aldi. Not sponsored. Yeah. It really doesn't want to focus on you. There you are. Look at this. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. Is that good? They're bigger than I thought. Me too. Exactly what I was imagining. It's like the fancy version of those Sunday school cookies. The little sandwich cookies, like. Mm, like Oreos? No. Oh. Like the ones in the pack, like like all the. Yeah. They're like this. They're not Oreos. I know, but they look like Oreos. Kind of. Mm, that's good. <laughs> okay, so I reckon I'm supposed to scoop out the seeds. I guess I could Google it, but I'm really excited to try this. How does this go? So, yeah. Oh, it's kind of like a cantaloupe. Like, so far. Okay, I'm gonna scoop it out and then I'm gonna cut it up. You're going back in the microwave, because that's the right um, height. Okay, I scooped out all the seeds. And now I'm gonna taste it for the first time. First papaya. Cheers. That is odd. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, you ready to taste it, hun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to guess when it is ripe and fresh because I'm a... I think that's rotten. You think that's rotten? I don't know. It is from Mexico. Do you want these apple juice packets in the fridge or out? Um, I think I'll probably take those upstairs. Okay. A blood sugar, low blood sugar fixer. It's cinnamon applesauce. No spoon needed. Cool, worth a try. Yeah, okay, so the papaya, I would say it is most similar in my experience, most similar to a very ripe cantaloupe. Like the texture feels very similar. Yeah. The flavor, I don't know how to describe it. I'm gonna taste it again. I think you might be right, honey. I think it might be a little bit rotten. So interesting. Crazy. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had a papaya or maybe like the most exotic fruit you've ever had. I remember my mom got us a star fruit. When you cut it left to right, the like profile of it looks like a star. That was pretty magical. That was probably the most exotic fruit I've had. Next, the papaya. Cool. Hey, monkey.
Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up here tonight and say... As always, we'll see you see tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Don't you think we're and kid getting up for the queue. Stretch. Good night, everybody.